So it's weekend, as I said, we're dressing up, we're looking the part. Um, come under fire a little bit over the last couple of days, a few things. Um, I've got a couple of Italians getting very, very upset with me about the risotto. Sorry, Oaks. Um, we'll be okay. The other thing is that I've had a few vegans and vegetarians and yeah, I'll put something vegan and vegetarian through. The last I checked, the aubergine was vegan. The last I checked, the red pepper pesto was vegan. That's already a good 15% of what I've done. Um, however, however, um, I, I, I always listen to the critics and, uh, and if we can make things better, we'll make things better. So what I thought was we'll start off with a lovely vegan dish today, uh, something for the weekend, something that will keep you going. Um, and it is a, uh, a Bloody Mary. Yeah, hey, Bloody Mary will work. Here's the ingredients for you. So obviously it won't be a normal Bloody Mary with, uh, with me around, um, and, you know, being, the, being the chef and all. Um, tomato cocktail, Tabasco, uh, Worcester sauce, a bit of lemon, obviously the vodka, um, celery stick, which is all these things are normal. The only thing that is not a little bit normal and might change the flavor just a little bit is this roasted uh, pepper that I've just taken off the fire that I'm trying to get going. How beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. We know where that's going. Anyway, so uh, so there, there we go. Um, and then obviously we have a shaker with ice in it already. Okay, so I know nothing, nothing about making cocktails, all right? All I know is that as you're making, you can taste it and, uh, and, and follow a recipe, because that always helps as well. So we've got the, uh, we've got the shaker. Into the shaker, we'll put, um, I'm gonna put in two, definitely a double of, uh, of the vodka. Fill it right to the brim. We'll just add a touch more because I apparently missed the container completely. All right, into that, we're going to splash a little bit of uh, your chosen tomato cocktail juice. What's going on, boy? Why is it so noisy? Okay, a bit of that. Just follow a recipe. Okay, as I said, we're going to put a little bit more in there. One of my favorite things, obviously, is, uh, is a bit of the green Tabasco. Uh, which I really, I really enjoy. I, I prefer the flavour to the red Tabasco, which might have been a little bit too much. Beautiful. Splash of white pepper. Okay. Pinch of salt in there. Okay. I'm not going to put the celery just in. We'll keep that for the freshness. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to take a touch. Okay. Just a touch of this. Oh, I smell this immediately as it comes out. So I'm just going to cut it into little strips like that. This thing's been in the way all the time, but but it's such a feature. Okay, and I'm just going to I'm just going to dice that in just to again just get those flavors going in there nicely. We'll strain it out, maybe maybe not so much in there. All right, and now obviously my favorite part and the part that I'm so good at. Oh, let's put a little bit of let's put a little lemon in there as well. Just a little squeeze of lemon. No man. Okay, just a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> George and Julian are. Oh, George and Julian are gonna kill me after this lot. Sorry, lads. Okay, so we just put a little squeeze of lemon and lemon zest and the whole lemon in there. Right, on with the lid. So I've seen them do this so many times. And we're just gonna shake. And you don't have to go. You don't have to. You don't have to, to go too mad. Right, we got we got frosts up on the outside. That that's a good thing, I think. Right, and then I can never get this fucking lid. Here we go. The thing to do now is before you pour it into the glass, because then you've got a problem. It's just to give it a little bit of a taste. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And you know what? I'm gonna even gonna keep that smoky red pepper. I'm gonna leave them in there. And we're just gonna pour that into this little <laughs> into this baby here. 
With the ice, just pour the ice in. I know you're supposed to put the ice in separate. Jeez, I could have won competitions with that. With that pour. Okay. So the red pepper is in there already. Okay, we go in. Maybe we just trim this baby down a little bit. Look at that, beautiful. Ha! On fire, baby, it's the weekend. Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching the watching the video. You might wonder what we are doing on YouTube and why we, we got this channel. And as you see, um, all of this happened during lockdown. Uh, COVID-19 is where this, uh, this YouTube, channel, YouTube channel started. And, and one of the big things for me was to, uh, during this, this lockdown period, and especially being in the hospitality industry and owning a restaurant, was to be able to look after my team and my staff. And uh, basically we, we um, we have taken my book, Mile 8, and uh, all the sales and all the proceeds to the book are from the book um, go to our, our staff fund, which is, which is pretty special. So you can go to the Marble, uh, Marble website and you can purchase your book there. Um, and I think that's just really where, where we are with this channel as well. I think whatever money is raised from this channel, um, obviously we, will, uh, we need to cover for, for production costs and, and, uh, and so forth of the, of the channel itself. But the uh, uh, majority of the proceeds will also then go to a fund. And that fund is going to be ongoing for, uh, for yeah, it'll be ongoing after COVID and everything else. Because I think one of the biggest things that we realize is how vulnerable um, ourselves and our staff become in, in situations like this. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Tune in for the next one. Cheers, guys.